Hey everyone, it's Dylan from the Black Forest Wood Company. We're back again for another week here in the shop. Uh, if you saw Friday's video that we took down, there is some repeated content in this video, but there's also some new content, so make sure you guys watch all the way through. Uh, we've got some comments as well that you guys aren't always seeing our new videos when they're posted, so make sure you go down and subscribe, make sure you ring the bell, and if you guys leave us a like on the video, that really, really helps us out in the YouTube algorithm. Uh, this week we are, the most exciting part I think is we're painting the bay, uh, we're getting that new bay all set up so if you watch till the end you're going to see that. Uh, there's some door glue ups for interior and exterior doors, we're finishing this really big red conference table and we're doing a pour for a black walnut dining table so I hope you guys enjoy. Alright so we are doing another river table pour, this is a dining table again. Uh, the client was originally thinking a solid black, but then after we sent him some photos of the transparent colors we usually do, he decided to go for that. Um, you can't see it at all, but this is Color Effects Black Dye, um, and we're doing nine drops, probably. That's what probably Joe did. Close to that. Yeah, that's what Joe did on the last one. So let's see. Here, they are actually clamped down using these bars that go across and what that does is it actually just stops the slabs from floating. So if we didn't have anything on and we poured the resin in, these slabs would be sitting on top of the resin. So what you see us doing here now is actually oiling the door panels before they go into the door. Uh, the reason for this is that when you're making a door, it, this more applies to exterior, but it still applies to interior doors. Uh, the panels will expand and contract. So if you finish everything after the panel goes in, when that panel contracts, you're going to have a line of unfinished wood that you can see. So by actually finishing everything first, there's not going to be that line of unfinished wood that's going to show.
Joe right now is putting the first coat of oil on this full sand red conference table. Um, we were we were a little unsure of the red at first, but honestly, it really really complements the walnut quite nicely. This slab's kind of unique too because there's all these wormholes that go all the way through over here, and then. My favorite spot on the table is right in here, this kind of decayed section with all the cross grain. Uh, it went really, really dark, um, but it, this table is just looking awesome. Uh, I'm here with the crystal table and it's cured up really nicely. Um, you can kind of see the crystals in there, they're definitely going to pop a lot more once we actually get this table polished up and finished. Um, they did disappear a little. That's one thing, I guess, um, a negative that we did notice is you can't really see them as much as you could before. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, the color turned out really good. And just to kind of go over um, the cure time for our tables, because we had a lot of questions on the last video of how come we didn't show the table. Some of you guys thought maybe it didn't work out. Uh, it takes a whole week for this stuff to cure. So if we post a video on Friday of us doing a pour, uh, it's likely not until close to the middle or the end of the following week that we can actually take it out of the mold. So much I could have got you. Oh. It wasn't even dirty yet, eh? <laughs> Rub it. Okay, so this one has a little bit more of the blue tone in it. We don't want it to contrast with the blue pigment in our wall color here. So it sounds like the design team has decided to go with the lighter gray tone on our floor. Yes, yes, yes. This guy already spilt it on his pants, look. He spilled it on me. <laughs> yeah, people are gonna go crazy for this. <laughs> yes, look at that. Just watching paint dry. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I think this guy's a little so bit thick. too many drinky poos. Joe, where's your drinky poo? That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yes. Didn't actually take us too long. I think we just got started a few hours ago, but things are looking good. Joe's drunk. He's supervising. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that too, but oh, <laughs> there's the damage. That's what we did. I think that was mostly Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we ended up getting all of the painting done. We did three coats on here. Uh, it didn't really take us too long at all, but we definitely had some fun while we did it, so check it out. Uh, I think it goes pretty good with those those dark walls, and we got the light gray floors. We're going to do like a, a baseboard all the way along here, so that'll kind of clean up that edge. But it, you know, other than all the little pits and stuff, because those were there before when we got here, it looks pretty good. So I'll kind of give you guys, let's go upstairs. This is where we're probably going to be putting a podcast studio. That's our plan. So it's not too much space up here. As you guys can see, we just have a little bit of room. We're thinking maybe we'll sit here and like uh, us and the guest will sit there. And then we'll have some kind of a camera set up over here pointing at us. But here's kind of a, an aerial shot of the bay. It's looking, looking pretty good, you guys. Let us know what you think. 
Okay, so we got the painting done. Uh, as you can see, we are already starting to put the bay to use. Uh, it kind of pains me to see this, but the floor is already a complete mess from us driving the forklift in here. Uh, but that, that's what this place is for. So it's, it's already helping us out because otherwise all of this wood would have to be in our shop right now and clogging up our workspace. So we're really, really pleased to have this. I think all of this racking is showing up at the end of the week. Um, but let us know what you guys think. If there's any ideas you think we should do, like design-wise in here, I kind of want to hear those. Um, Haley and I were talking, like maybe doing LEDs around the top, or we don't know. Let us know what you guys think. But that's that's basically it. We're still going to have a video on Friday of this week as well, so you guys kind of get a bonus two videos to make up for last week. Uh, but again, go hit that like button if you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you this week.